Hopefully this is my last video about the Synergy lens. I just think that industry ophthalmologists and people who are considering cataract or premium lens replacement surgery should always know the truth. I have no financial interest in any ophthalmic companies other than our own private practice. As I've grown older and wiser, I've realized that having integrity as a human is basically priceless. It's important that I can make choices and recommendations that are not financially driven when it comes to patient care. So with that foundation, I wanna share a patient's perspective on why they were not happy with their vision with the Synergy lens implant, despite having perfect focus, which means no residual refractive error, 2020 far vision, 2020 near vision, and an eye that was anatomically normal in every way. So on paper, this patient had perfect vision. She should be happy, right? Well, she wasn't. By the way, the patient is one of the nurses that works with me in our surgical center. Let me have her share her story. Okay, so I'm gonna set the stage. All right. You, you were basically a Plano Presbyo. You did monovision and contacts with contact lenses. Your right eye saw far, left eye saw near. And so we put in Synergy to both eyes, correct? Correct. And that was like around October of 2021. Synergy both eyes. You ended up seeing 2020 far and J1 plus or 2020 near with the synergies. Your refraction was Plano in each eye. So on paper, you see perfectly. Right. However, what did you notice? I noticed, especially with mid-range and distance, my eyes struggled to get something into focus. I felt like I was doing this little googly-eyed thing and I did mostly eventually get things into focus, but it was not instantaneous. And so if I was in motion or the object was in motion, it really was difficult. For example, if I looked at trees, this was another thing, whether I was in motion or not, if I looked at a tree, I could differentiate the the you know the trunk but the leaves were just like a soft painting like nothing was clear and differentiated uh, with the synergy lenses um, I also had the dysphotopsia so in especially in my left eye I had like flashing um, uh, an intense glare in certain lighting situations uh, like with halogen lighting or with um, fluorescent lighting it was really bad uh, really that was really frustrating. How was your driving vision, seeing street signs? Not great. Initially, I couldn't read street signs at all. Mm -hmm. It eventually came to be that I could read street signs, um, but you know, my path was simply to come to work and go home, so I was familiar with those signs. Recently, I traveled uh, to a foreign land and had extreme difficulty trying to read you know, unknown road signs uh, with the Synergy lenses. Even though you were no prescription, Plano refraction, 2020 vision. Correct. So then we made the tough call to exchange your Synergy for a panoptics on your left eye. So we did that around like a day ago. Yes. Okay, so now 24 hours out, you got a panoptics. On paper, you see 2020, you're basically Plano refraction. She's J1 plus? Yes. Okay, what's the difference? Now, left eye has, you had a synergy for the past mm, five months on the left eye, and now you've had a pan optics for one day. What do you notice? It feels like a completely different visual experience. It's brighter. Um, I, for example, if I look at a white piece of paper, uh, the pan optics lens provides white that is like a cool bright white um, if I look at that same piece of paper with my synergy lens it's more like a warm tone and kind of taupey like a brownish grayish white uh, so so that's a huge difference um, I can now when I look at trees I can already differentiate the leaves um, uh, my near vision was impeccable with the Synergy lens, uh, with the Panoptic lens. It also is very good. Maybe the sweet spot is about two inches further out than 
the Synergy lens, but still great. I feel like my mid-range distance is already better with the Panoptic lens. Um, road signs, I, my only experience was driving to work while it was still dark this morning, but it seemed, it seems like I now have a balance with my vision, which I, I, I had more of a struggle with the dual Synergy lenses, which I'm not feeling that now uh, with, with one of each. Sweet, thanks. So we did an intraocular lens exchange where we removed the Synergy lens and replaced it with the Panoptics lens. This procedure is not difficult in the presence of an intact posterior capsule. So how did she do? So we're one month out, you have now Panoptics left, you have Synergy right, you had Synergy in both eyes before. Uh, let's kind of start from what you didn't like about the Synergy and why you wanted an exchange and have the synergy removed and replaced with the pain optics. What were you noticing? What were the bad things? The worst part about the synergy lens is I saw the crescent at the edge on my left eye and um, that also in certain lighting situations like especially fluorescent lighting or halogen lighting created a glare that was like a flashing like a flashy flashing glare uh, that was really disturbing. Um, that was the worst offense. Um, the other thing that I had difficulty with with both Synergy lenses is my distance. Uh, and prior to surgery, I didn't have any issues with distance. Um, but what I found with the Synergy lenses is I could make out a tree in the distance, but I couldn't differentiate the individual leaves. Um, and also with driving, if I was in motion, I couldn't read the uh, you know street signs, um, or if I was still and something was in motion, I couldn't make out details. Uh, so I had real difficulty with the distance aspect of the synergy. Lines. Did you have the shadow on both eyes? <clears throat> yes, but the left created more of a flash. The right side, I do see it's more more of like around four o'clock mm -hmm. rather than at three. Mm -hmm it creates a little bit different of a glare, not the flashing, but there is a bit of a glare still. On the right. On the right. And the right eye still has this energy. Yes. Okay, and then, um, so for the record, you, your prescription on each eye with the synergy was zero for far, so you have no prescription, you were Plano. You could see 2020 on our chart, mm -hmm. far away without glasses, and you saw 2020 or J1 plus up close, without glasses, mm -hmm. with the synergy, but it's a quality of vision thing, right? Correct. Okay, so then we, uh, today is April 6th, 2022, March 7th, we cautiously said, okay, you don't like the way you see with these synergy lenses, we have some other patients who've experienced this, we're gonna remove the synergy and replace it with a panoptics lens, we did that for your left eye only, you still have your synergy on your right eye, and now, what's what do you notice? What's the difference now that you have a pan off? Well, I noticed immediately uh, on day one that the color tonality is completely different between the two lenses. For example, in the Synergy lens, if I look like look at a bright white piece of paper, it's warm toned and it actually has more of like a brownish gray tone compared to the Panoptics lens, which is bright white and more of a cool tone. So that was the immediate difference. Uh, with the Panoptics lens, I now have great vision, uh, both are all near, mid, and far. I can differentiate the leaves on the trees. Uh, I can read signs when I'm driving. So that has, having the Panoptics lens has changed the quality. So I now have great quality in all three ranges. Um, I do still have the crescent uh, on the left side in the panoptics lens. The interesting thing is the glare is much different. No longer is it strobing, uh, but I, if I'm walking, especially under a street lamp, um, I see, this doesn't make sense because you don't see this with your normal eyes, but it's more of like a surface glare and I can see the rings when I'm just approaching uh, a street light, like when I'm walking my dog in the morning. Um, but no flashing. So that has already been a huge improvement for me with quality. So the <clears throat> the arc or the dysphotopsia that you have from your left eye, how does it compare 
with the arc or the, the dark crescent that you had with the synergy? Is it the same? Is it different? Well, the, <clears throat> the thing that was so difficult with the pan, uh, the synergy lens is that it created a strobe. Like it just, it, <laughs> like having a strobe, you know, especially here at work when we have the fluorescent lights, like it really created, it just made me tired and I don't, I don't know if I can properly articulate how weird of a feeling that is. It's, it was just draining, mm. to be quite honest with you. Mm -hmm. So this, although it's still the negative dysphotopsia, it's mm. not as, it's not as interruptive to normal life mm -hmm. as I felt with the Synergy lens. Mm -hmm. Cool. Anything else? No. Like when you have both eyes open, can you tell the difference between your right and the left eyes? Not at all. It's, okay. it's like it, together they're a nice blend. Okay, good. So that's important because some people they'll have a synergy and they'll go, oh, I think I need to have them both out. And we've done that on some patients. But it's good because we only do one eye. If we've done one eye and most of your symptoms are kind of like uh, minimized, then we could just leave the right eye alone, potentially. So far, I'm just living with it and okay. I, I'm, I'm happy at this point. That made a big difference changing it out. For the lens. Cool. Um, anything else? No, thank you. All right, good. So the Synergy lens is really a conundrum. For us, patients objectively see well, yet about 5 to 10% subjectively do not like their vision. In fact, they dislike their vision so much that oftentimes they seem depressed or despondent about their inability to see clearly. Fortunately, we're able to exchange their Synergy lens for other lenses, such as the panoptics, vividity, or monofocal lenses, to help them achieve clear vision, both subjectively and objectively. So if you're considering the Synergy lens, please proceed with caution. There's a 90% chance you'll see well, but there is a five to 10% chance that you won't see as well as you want. So thanks for listening to this public service announcement. I hope it was helpful. Thanks to Dawn for her willingness to share her story. And we're very glad she's happy. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.